Okay, so I'm recording this early, but this will be the first uh, time that you are watching me through the computer in Miss Haddad's room. So something that I figured would be easy for most of you just to listen and watch and do without me is collecting and representing data. So you've probably seen on the board, like sometimes the board will say NSO or sometimes the board will say like this is crazy old, but it says FR for fractions. So this strand is DP, which is data and probability. And there truly only is two standards here. The first part of this is can you take information off of a line plot and can you recognize what that information stands for? And then the second part of this will be, can you find the mean, median, mode, and range of a data set? So I figured the easiest way for us to get into this is just to look at how many pieces a line plot is cut into. When you start looking at a line plot, I don't care if it starts at zero, I don't care if it starts at one, I don't care if it starts at 907. You never start with the first whole number, whatever that whole number is, and zero is a whole number. You will start at the very first notch after that first whole number. So I'm not gonna start at the whole number, I'll start at the notch after the whole number and you're gonna count all the way through to the next whole number. And the next whole number that I have is one. So I would say that this line plot is cut into one, two, and three pieces. So I'm gonna fill that in. Part of you recognizing where things it, or are, are, sorry, are, is being able to recognize how many pieces a line plot's cut into. So if this is zero and this is cut into three pieces, that three really tells me that the denominator is three. So if this is zero, it would just be one third. Okay, you could say zero and one third, but zero is nothing. So that's not really there. It's one third. It's the first out of three notches. This would be two thirds. It's the second out of three notches. This would be three thirds. It's the third out of three notches. But three thirds is a fraction that is equal to one because three divided by three is one. If this is one, then this is one and one third. It's after one, so the whole number is one, and it's the first out of three notches. This would be one and two thirds. It's after one, and it's the second out of three notches. This would be the same as one and three thirds or two. So it's after one, and it's the third out of three notches. But you have to remember that three thirds is a fraction equal to one. So it's equal to two because one plus another one is two. If this is two, then this is two and one third. This is two and two thirds, and then two and three thirds would be the same as three. If that's three, then this is simply three and one third. So if they're asking you where pieces are, you have to be able to label your line plot, which means you have to be able to stick the numbers down where they go. It says point A, but point A is on the line plot at one third. It says point B, but point B is on the line plot at two and two thirds. It says point C, but point C is on the line plot at one and two thirds. Being able to determine how many pieces your line plot is cut into allows you to know what the denominator needs to be. And you need that information because you need to pull off the numbers. If you scoot over, it's asking you how many pieces is your line plot cut into. You will not start at the first whole number. So this first whole number is three. You don't start counting there. You start at the notch after that. And you're going to count all the way through to the next whole number. So I want you to take a second and see if you can count those notches. How many pieces is this line plot cut into? Hopefully you can see that it should be cut into uh, five. This would be one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. So it's cut into five pieces. But if it's cut into five pieces, that means that the denominator has to be five. So if this is three, 
This is 3 and 1 fifth. It's after 3, so the whole number is 3, and it's the first out of 5 notches. This is 3 and 2 fifths. I'm not going to write it just so I have some space. This would be 3 and 3 fifths. It's after 3, the whole number is 3, and it's the third out of 5 notches. This would be 3 and 4 fifths. This is the same as 3 and 5 fifths because 5 fifths is also a fraction that is equal to 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 3 plus another is 4. If this is 4, then this is 4 and 1 fifth. It's after 4, so the whole number stays, and it's the first out of 5 notches. This would be 4 and 2 fifths. This would be 4 and 3 fifths. It's after 4, so the whole number stays, and it's the third out of 5 notches. This would be 4 and 4 fifths, which means that this is the same as 4 and 5 fifths, because 5 fifths is a fraction that is equal to 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 4 plus the extra gets me 5. All this is asking you here is can you recognize where is the shortest piece? So if you're looking at the numbers, it doesn't matter that there's three X's here. That means that there's three of whatever this number is. But if it's the shortest piece, it wants to know what is the smallest number that actually has data there. So if you look at your line plot, what is the smallest number on the line plot that shows data being represented, that shows an X there? Hopefully you can see that the first number that has an X, which would be the smallest number if you go from the front, is 3 and 1 fifth. So I'm going to show that the smallest piece or the shortest piece is at 3 and 1 fifth. This is asking for the longest piece, which would be the largest number. What is the biggest or largest number that actually represents data? But the biggest number that has data there is 5. So you can put the whole number 5. You could even show it as 4 and 5 fifths because both of those numbers are truly equivalent or equal to each other. What they're going to ask you to do with this standard DP11 is can you take information off of a line plot? Can you put information onto a line plot? Can you answer questions that go with a line plot? So for right now, I'm just asking you to be with me. This says that Matthew measures the lengths of 14 boards of wood, which he measures to the nearest quarter inch. He tracks his data in the table below. Represent Matthew's data in the line plot, then answer a few questions about the data. If they're asking you to plot data on the line plot, which is what they're doing, then you have to figure out how many pieces is this line plot cut into. If 10 is the first whole number, you don't start counting there. You start counting at that first notch after the first whole number. And you count all the way through to the next whole number, and that whole number is 11. So I need you to take a second and figure out how many pieces is the line plot cut into. Hopefully you can count four. This would be one, two, three, and four. But that matters because that means that no matter what, my denominator is going to be four. So if this is 10, I want to label this as 10 and 1 fourth. It's after 10, the whole number is 10, and it's one out of four notches. If that's 10 and 1 fourth, that's 10 and 2 fourths which means this is 10 and 3 fourths, and this would be the same as 10 and 4 fourths. But 4 fourths is also a fraction that is equal to 1, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 10 plus 1 more is 11. I have to stop my video for a second, because I'm doing this during specials. I have to go get you guys from specials, and then I will continue it. So this is going to have to be in two segments. So this video is going to end. I need you to press play on the next video for me, please.